I'll be melting with some warm winds also coming this way, but it's the wind that's going to be an issue. Now there's a slight breeze this morning that's going to get knocked down for today. A new system comes in tomorrow and let's look at those wind gusts. I think they're going to be highest at higher elevation south of Syracuse, but most importantly, along Lake Ontario shoreline from Wayne to Oswego, Northern Cuga up towards Jefferson County. Now watch as we go through the day. You'll see these colors. That's where it flares up some of the wind. It will be 30, 40 miles per hour in Syracuse. But look at this late in the afternoon going into the evening wind gusts approaching 60 or more miles per hour. Now this is I think this model, the worst case scenario, but this would take down some trees that are not well rooted, some large branches coming off, blowing around those Christmas decorations. So we're going to have to batten down the hatches for the afternoon and evening on Saturday, along with some rain that'll come and even some wind and snow, uh, some snow this weekend, believe it or not. Not a big concern there, though. The snow, not a big concern with this low that moved on through. We got a coating in some spots, a couple of scattered flurries with the warm front now and a little bit of a breeze. But this is falling apart and lifting out to the northeast. So the cold front doesn't get dragged through, just gives us lots of clouds with dry weather for today. Maybe a peak of sun this afternoon and moderating temperatures. Winds today out of the south southeast, and I think we eventually see middle 40s this afternoon. Then the next warm front gives us a chance for some rain rain showers overnight tonight and that's what's going to start to increase the wind as that low pressure system gets cranked up goes to our west we warm as well so temperatures this morning into the 30s middle 40s this afternoon clouds holding tough if we see a couple of breaks of sun best chance of south and southwest of the city of syracuse late in the afternoon not bad temperature wise for friday evenings looking dry mostly cloudy and it's after midnight we start to get some rain showers moving through rain's probably going to pick up tomorrow morning a steadier period here early on could be heavy behind Behind that, though, we warm as that wind shifts around to the south and southwest and really starts to increase during the afternoon. We should make the lower 60s late in the afternoon. That rain could pick up again here with the strongest of the winds and the cold front. Behind that, some scattered lake effect snow showers developing east of both lakes. This could become briefly stronger. Minor accumulation as it works down north and northeast of the city of Syracuse by Sunday morning should lift back to the north and taper off by midday on Sunday. So flurries early giving way to just clouds, a peak of sun, 45 degrees are high, typical high is 39. We're near a record tomorrow at 63, but watch out for that wind late in the afternoon into the evening. Showers and rain mostly early and then again late in the afternoon. Morning snow showers up north northeast of Syracuse, otherwise a brighter afternoon on Sunday. Cooler, not cold. My pick day is Monday, delightful, bit of a breeze, but milder, 51 and sunshine. More sunshine Tuesday. Upper 40s with some rain showers Wednesday. Boy, white Christmas. We'll see. We're back in the upper 50s Thursday. Back inside.